Hello and welcome back to Imperator Rome. My name is Menturius and welcome back to Superior. We've gone off to a pretty big good start. We've expanded our borders a lot. We have a little bit too many diplomatic relationships, so we really, really have to do something about that. And that's kind of because we have a defensive league with Bateria, so I need to figure those things out. But first things first, we need more oratory power, and, and kind of the only way we can get that is by getting some other people in government's positions like this girl she isn't quite loyal but loyalty changes due to scorn family so that will change as you can see we how can she still be scorned maybe that's just a timer thing and yeah, this guy is also truly horrible but we kind of not have anybody better but i guess he is going to be the one all right, so this is where we left off. We took quite some land. And we are kind of want to find a new guy to attack. And these two are kind of perfect. Let's see if everybody thinks that's the same case. And that's the case. So we kind of need to build up an oratory power. And then we'll go to war with these two guys. So let's slowly speed it up. We have some spare money. So also, let's see if we can do something to improve. I wish there was some map mode that I could see. Ooh, this is a city I kind of want to... Yeah, let's do the market. We definitely want to mark place there because that is going to indirectly going to increase our research efficiency and let's uh, unpause the game and let's our troop return to our land let everybody return because it was a bloody war it was a damn pretty bloody war marketplace had been built so we should see Two for oh, wait, wait a second. We've got some decisions to make, and I remember this flag. I think it's one of you guys. No, it's not. So I guess it's one. Yes, it's one of my alliances. So yeah, we'll definitely accept that. So now we have to think: what are we going to do with our alliances? Because kicking one guy in the butt will definitely not help. So let's take a look at our diplomatic little cool map mode. Nope, culture map mode. It looks beautiful. Ooh, this is a different culture. Didn't know that. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Religious map mode. Oh no, it's all the same religion. And just because I selected it. Problem map mode. They were trying to get this all under our control. And I already forgot what we were looking for. Yes, the diplomatic one. Barbarian trade, player map mode, fortifications, region map mode, supply. Where is the opinion? Well, the opinion will, no, that will not help us. But this is the one. So, we have, we got you in our alliance i kind of want to cancel that why we only trade with you so we are not in an alliance that's a good thing who are you you are have a cause belly and you have a truce I kind of count one, two, three, four. I guess these are yes, these two are different countries, and that's where the problem is. This country is having an alliance with us. 
Well, for now we are going to allow that because I kind of want to start a new war as soon as possible. So let's speed things a little bit up. Now let's go back to the normal map mode. I always have to look all around political map mode. Because I want to take these two. Then we only need to take this one. So for now we are totally going to focus on a war on this little beautiful nation, Aquat. Then we do have a problem with the guy in the bottom. But I really need to reinforce my troops. So let's speed it up. Because we're also building a marketplace, that's not going to help us. We got our army back and ready. So we're paying a lot on wages. The fort maintenance, army maintenance is kind of killing me a bit. So, well, where is our nation? We have light infantry, or are we going for chariots? I kind of like the chariots. National manpower. This is all focused on light infantry defense, more chariots. So, this is the one more force at horses, and I guess we are going to go that way. So, for now, we are going to go with chariots. So, I guess we can do another invention. Moment power. I guess it's going to be learning on the job. Never bad doing learning on the job. Right, we are almost at 100. Oh man, ordered power is really a problem at the moment. All right, so lately our people have started to move out of the form, spreading out across the lands. That's that a good thing or not? Superior gains three centralization. I kind of want to know what my centralization is at the moment. Power base, aggressive expansion, number of cities. Doesn't really tell. So, if you guys know where I can find that number, I would really like to know tyranny or exhaustion. No, because it's not, not in there. But I do think I don't mind losing a little bit of. Definitely don't want to lose. I definitely don't want to lose the oratory power, so we're going with a military one. And another guy wants to join the defensive league. Who are you? No, auto decline. I guess because we declined it, he is going to be attacked, and we're definitely not going to. Alright, let's speed it up, let's speed it up. I want to have a war in this episode, and I want to finish it as well, because we want to be great. Let's take a look at the world. How is the world doing? I got some pretty big ones in the south. What has happened here? Retria. I haven't seen you before. Interesting. Interesting. Bohemia. Already a big country. And. Judea is still there. Got some countries changing now and then on the map, and that that's kind of what I like. Alright. One of our clan chief. Uh, all right, we got one snappy guy again. No, this is a new one. I have suggested to moving some of the people out of the clan uh, to her own ruler instead. I guess we're moving people around now, are we? Yes. So I'm going to lose money. I don't really mind. 
but currently 53 still don't know where that is so if you guys know where it is I definitely don't mind losing specific power and uh, we can do the omen thing let's see monthly generals is output monthly civilization change that's all and some inventions omen power no we use more omen power all right Let's move troops to that position. Wonder what is his troop based on seven one cohort? That's not correct. Cavalry, light infantry, so he's kinda got the same composition as I do. So we are going to recruit a few more armies and we're going to change the tactic because I want to have the archery advantage. I wish there was one where I can have the archery, archery advantage and the chariot advantage as well. But again, yeah, we're going for this one. We're almost there, so let's check their alliances. You still have a defensive pack and you're trying to improve. Ooh, we are getting we need to Alright, so definitely going to need it. It's going to be a tree warm block. Alright, so let's fabricate claims. Open diplomacy and let's fabricate a claim. Now let's. It's kind of funny. You have. You can see that, right? Open diplomacy. You have like permanent shipbuilding costs plus 25%. Why do you have that? Because you are kind of not having any ships so I don't get that well well I don't mind I don't mind let's start a war and don't we have to wait 16 of July and then we're going to slow down a bit because the war can get pretty messy everybody is going in So you're in the hill, so that is going, but you're on low maintenance, so I'm definitely going to move in pretty fast. That way I can terminate one army pretty fast. All their armies are coming in as well, so that's a good thing. And come on, come on, come on. Yes, we're, they we're on damn low morale. So that kind of was a good strategy. I wonder how many citizen D guys have you. They attacked my land, damn. Well, we're first going to take the capital, that's the main goal. I kind of want to wonder what our allies are going to do because they don't have that many troops as they did last time. There's a 6k here. Some of our druids in the German Estrum have gotten into a conflict with our neighbors. Alright. Who is. Oh, that's that. Hmm. Well, well. Uh, 
That was not so smart. You guys. So at the moment we're kind of losing this war because we've lost one battle. Two battles. That's pretty annoying. Pretty annoying indeed. I really need to do something, get some siege technology. We got some starving pups and we got another inventions. Right, one well, are not a good war over there. Come on, just let us take the province and join Superior to become the Great Iberia. We need to have something that will take that. Quite annoying those 9k over there. They even got mercenaries over here. Oh, this is going to be a dirty war. So I guess I kind of have to recruit a few more inventory inventories. Light infantry, yeah, that's a few, two more. Just to take on that, that big army because, well, my allies are kinda dumb. And my clan leaders do nothing. That's kinda annoying. I do like how they just keep building and keep building and losing a lot of troops this way. Right, let's uh, free this country first and then we'll Likely that our site will very likely that our site will lose. I do think that, but if everybody moves in, splendid! We got ten stability. That's great. Let's come on. Heated debates in our clan council are not uncommon. Yes, I know that, but we got one guy losing 40 loyalty in general. The first that's definitely not a good team. Is this kind of dangerous thing, but well, all right, let's see if this is going to work. Because if I could take down, yes. 
took down one army. Second war with only oh, oh well. Can I get access? Some military access. Lack of commanders. Could that be possible? You guys need to be one big army. Loses loyalty. It's all about loyalty game. What titled elders on the side? All right, so this is an important one. I don't want to have a loyal one. Yeah, you. I lose one point, but well, that one is way more loyal. As you can see, we're kind of beating their asses up. This is going to get us a lot of war aggression, but well, we have to honor our call in the defensive league and might be able to take everything. So that's a great thing. Yeah, we've beaten them. They are broken, they are broken, and we can speed things up. And as you can see, I asked Texas. We are defeated. Yes, that's... I really need to take this land. That annoying 10k army is incoming. Alright, let's see if I can... You are that one. And I can sue for peace with you individually. And I want all your money. I love to have money. Pass judgment over their families. Do they have any good people? You're not. Mm. Interesting, interesting. What? Ten Omen, that's also interesting. Trade sea dogs, zealous. You're wealthy, lustful, corrupted. I definitely don't want you. Kind of tempting to this guy. But he has a big family. Yep, he has the rest. He's crucified. Alright, now. Kind of need to look into this. Struggle between the religions, Agmans, of our society, and the peasants has recently come into life. Oh my god, this is, I don't want unrest at the moment. A religion proceeding to the city. Ooh, that's interesting. Ten stability is also damn nice. But I don't want to lose any uh, defense at the moment. This army is set up by a lot of... small armies. Yeah, they're also already going that way. Alright! Thankfully, remembers from 
Creep Elmas doctors have overrated. Alright. I thought we won the battle. But we did. I kinda want to keep my focus on those game on those as the troops. Got some starving pups. We're still waiting for you to take that area. And we are. Who are we in war with anyway? We are in war with all these guys. Oh my god, that are many, many, many people. Didn't even notice that. I guess the aggressive war expansion will pay his toll. Get there. And our flanks have uh, stabilized. As you can see, they come from the side, the new soldiers. And we are getting reinforced a lot. I kind of want to totally destroy this guy. But we did not. That's kind of disappointing. Prep is always open for people who want to join. Yes, they can move. I have no problem with that. And again, the brandies are scorn. I really want to take this all, so that way we got one province totally under our control. But it's taking too long. We're at two wars, and I kind of need those 7,000 troops on this side. And I wonder why you guys won't support me. After accepting the tribe into Lugius, it seems the Albanian have declared us an enemy. Oh, great goodness. Are we at war with somebody else as well? Nope. Alright, come on, take the damn city and that way I can end that war. And we can move on to the other war because we are having way too many wars at the moment. And I don't think I can handle them all with the aggressive war expansion. But we are growing quite large. We're doing pretty well. Alright, so we got one more we can finish. And let's sue for peace. Come on, go up. No, you cannot go up. I really want to use lands. And all their money. And we're definitely... Yeah, well... I, I really need to do the rest of expansion. Anyway, I can lose... No, no way. I don't think they're that... Good. Popularity is low. Well, that guy is kind of popular, but got a lot of money. I wish we could take their money as well if we crucify them. That would be like awesome. Yeah. Well, we're going to crucify them all. If you guys think otherwise, well, really let me know. And well, we have created quite a big. Army, we got a little bit disloyal provinces, and well, we have to fix that next time. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you got any tips, tricks, 
comment, leave them down below. I really like reading them and hope to see you guys at the next video. Thank you for watching.